So it looks like an AMD employee has revealed the name of AMD's next generation GPU core, which would be known as Arcturus. Maybe. <laughs> The next generation GPU die name was revealed by an AMD employee in the Pharonix forums and aside from the GPU name, he has also mentioned that the new lineup of graphics cards would go back to the older naming scheme, which we got before RX Vega. If we go by the current AMD GPU roadmaps, we will see that AMD has products planned out until and beyond 2020 and the 14 nanometer Vega lineup shipped in 2017 and they are expected to ship their first 7 nanometer based Vega 20 products by the end of this year. Then in 2019, we will get to see the first Navi products released to the consumer market. The roadmap has GPU codenames confirmed till Navi and everything beyond that is labeled next gen. The only details that are known about this next gen part till now is that it will utilize the latest 7 nanometer plus process node and well, thanks to AMD themselves, we might have the first graphics architecture code name for this part, which is said to be Octurus. The Octurus code name comes from the red giant star, which is the brightest in the constellation of Beotes and among the brightest stars that can be seen from space. Similar to Vega and Navi, both of which are also some of the brightest stars visible in the night sky. The naming scheme takes inspiration from the time since RTG was created and the founding father Raja Kaduri put a lot of emphasis on bright stars when they first introduced Polaris. So that goes in line with what AMD has been naming their GPU so far. But the other interesting thing to note here is that the same AMD employee also mentions that AMD will be going back to their roots when it comes to the naming convention of the actual products based on the Octurus GPUs. With Vega, we saw graphics cards named after the specific GPU configuration, such as the Arcs Vega 64 and 56, as well as their derivatives that exist on the mobile and APU segment. In the past, the naming schemes was much easier to follow, with Tahiti going inside the Radeon 7000 series cards, Hawaii going inside the R9 290 series, and Fiji going along inside the R9 Fury series cards. AMD is looking to bring back such naming schemes with Octurus if the said employee is to be believed. <laughs> but wait, as fun as that news all was, as we were filming, thankfully, since video is harder to edit than an article, especially expo facto, turns out these names are supposedly what they'll be using in their open source driver code in reference to the die itself. They will allegedly be doing this so that they can work in drivers before launch and then change the name at their discretion to fool unsuspecting folks. So are they learning from Nvidia on controlling leaks? Only time will tell at this point. But overall, it's great to hear some news from AMD graphics side, which has been quite silent for several months. And we'd love to hear some official words on next gen graphics roadmaps and respective products in the coming months. We'd love to hear your take on this one down in the comment section below because while they did say false alarm, can't help but wonder. Either way, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell so that we don't miss you in the next video.